the American Psychological Association released a survey back in 2015. Doesn't it seem so long ago? February 4th, 2015. I'm putting the PDF below for this press release and this PDF document for this survey that they released. And they surveyed thousands of Americans and 72% said they have felt stress of adults say they have felt stress within the last month. One in five, 20% of them say they did not go and seek a doctor for help and did not participate in any activity. This is big. Listen closely in any activity to help their stress. Meaning that activity could have been going to the doctor, but they didn't. That activity could have been more exercise, eating healthier, meditating, putting a magic bag, well, they probably did this because this is amazing because we're talking about stress. So I thought I'd bring out my uh, rice bag and it's nice and hot and uh, feeling good on the neck. But isn't that amazing? One in five didn't do anything. Now, another stat is that 26% of millennials that may be you watching 26% say their stress has increased from a year before, meaning they're more stressed than 2014. That's incredible. When we think about stress, guys, it's a label. Stress can mean anxiety. Of course, they're different labels, but stress, those, those symptoms completely overlap. Again, I'm going to put the link below for this PDF. It's a great survey. Um, just to get some perspective and insight into this stressful economy that we actually have both in the States and I'm in Canada. It's really, you know, they overlap these things between the US and Canada. What you're probably all wondering now is what this 60 second technique is. And I know on the channel, if you've been here a while, you know, uh, we're all about patience and slowing down. And that's one way you can relieve your stress. It's just take a deep breath and calm down. I'm getting to the point. Don't you worry. And it's great. It's great. But I just want to talk about stress. For a little while, let's try to understand stress. And I'm saying stress, it can, it can be anxiety too. Stress, when you think about if you're stressed for a test, let's say, because a lot of you are in high school and university. I think when I look at the YouTube uh, analytics here, it's like 18 to 35. That's a big range. But let's say you're out of school, in school, a lot of you are 18 to 24 and then 24 to 35. Stress is the thought that we will be unable to perform in future events or in the present. Money is a huge stress for a lot of people, but let's go back to the test. Would you be stressed about a test if you were a hundred percent sure that you were going to ace it and that you studied and you had the time you put in all your effort and you're fully confident that you're going to get an A plus on this test. Would you be stressed? I don't think so. You'd probably be nervous, but if you're that confident, if you're a hundred percent sure that you were going to ace this test, that you were going to perform in a future event, there would be no stress. There would be no stress. People stress out about money. Why? Because they don't have enough of it. If you had more than enough money, why would you stress about it? It's the inability to perform and the, how you're unsure if you will be able to perform in future events. That's kind of my definition and I like it. Okay. So that's what stress and that's anxiety too. When we're looking into the future and we're doing the what ifs and the tests, what if I don't ace it? What if I didn't study hard enough? I didn't study hard enough. I could have studied harder. Okay. So this is when we're talking about performance. I think that has a lot to do with stress. Let's just, and at work too, guys, there's no, there's legitimate excuses for being stressed. There is a lot's going on in millennials lives and even adults, young adults, children, the pressures at school, the amount of homework you have university. You kind of need to know what you want to study. So then when you graduate, you can get a job. It's stressful. Things are expensive. Now to live in Toronto, you're paying $2,000 a month for rent 
for a condo that's about uh, 1,600, no, sorry, 900 square feet. I'm looking to move down there. Life's so expensive. When we talk about stress with money, yeah, no wonder people are stressed. How am I going to live? How am I going to afford things? Stress can lead, or a symptom of stress is overthinking, just like anxiety, saying what ifs, just like anxiety, and that translates from these thoughts into our bodies. People who are stressed go for massages. People who are stressed take these magic bags and guess what? They feel better because the thoughts translate into your body and you tense up. Your muscles get tense. Once you feel relaxed and let's say you get a massage, then the thoughts start to make sense so we can work on the body too as well as the mind. You think I'm rambling a bit? Yeah? Okay, let's get to the 60 second technique. So here's the story. Chanel. Chanel, one of our subscribers, emailed me, wow, months and months and months ago. I've been meaning to put this video up. And uh, you, you guys all email me and you, you say hi and thank you and I love it. And you tweet at me and you post on my Facebook, our Facebook. And she says, Scott, I had a really rough day. This really helped me out. Please share with your subscribers. These are the type of people that watch the videos, you guys, that are willing to find, like, share what you found that works for you and recommend it to other people because you don't want them suffering like you did. That's amazing. These are the people that watch the videos and I love you. So she gave me a link to this website. And this website is Pixel Thoughts, okay? You can click on this website, but don't do it yet. I want to explain it for just a second, okay? Maybe a lot of you have heard of this. It was in the news. It came out in, well, it started, what, like 2015, April or something like that? And um, it's amazing. I did it. And please do it. I'm not going to do a tutorial. You guys can do it on your own. I was thinking of doing a screen grab, but no, no, no. It's more powerful if you do it. You sit alone, and it's very easy, okay? So go to the website, and if you have something on your mind, you put it in this little star, okay? So if you're stressed about your next biology final, let's say, okay? You type it into this star on your screen. It's a big little picture of space. You type it into this star, and there's beautiful music in the background on this website, okay? You put it into the star, you click enter, and here comes the music, and your thought, your stressful thought, slowly fades away. And this is the meditation. It's 60 seconds where you can be by yourself. Take 60 seconds, one minute out of your day. Be with this thought. And watch it in the website. Slowly disappear into the vastness of the universe. Okay, and it says while you're meditating, it's saying it, it's giving you instructions. Breathe in, breathe out. Everything's going to be okay. It gives you instructions. It tells you some facts about the universe that this thought that you're having is insignificant. This is how you de-stress. This is an amazing tool. There are other techniques you write you write your, um, your thoughts on stones, your stressful thoughts on stones. You throw them in the water. You throw them in the lake and say goodbye. Goodbye, homework stress. Goodbye, divorce. You know what I mean? Guys, maybe you're thinking that this would be a different kind of video. You're like, stress in 60 seconds is probably bullshit. But reality is one thing. Okay? Reality is one thing. The way we perceive reality is what's really gross and dirty. And that's what this channel is all about. That's what every self-help book's about. That's everything. The way we interpret reality from our own minds is what we're dealing with here. Reality is fine. It's how we see things. And to, to de-stress to get rid of stress. Again, we can do things for the body. We can exercise. We can do things, you know, reduce that 
cortisol and get this uh, and get these endorphins and dopamine flowing with exercise and different meditations but this for 60 seconds you take a thought that's been bugging you you take a thought that has been in your brain and causing you stress and you put it in to the universe and watch it disappear I love this technique I love it now I could do another 150 videos on how to reduce stress and there's another 150 videos before this one that really all relate to stress anxiety depression mental health relationships self-esteem there's so many things that cause stress and you can do this as many times as you want on if you're about to do that, let's let's look at it this way. It was in this I'll, it was in this book. Actually, it's right over there. Uh, a few videos from now, I'm going to do like top self help books that have helped me so much. If you're you just had a great dinner, there's a hundred people at your house, and now you look at the stack of dishes, and it's like a thousand dishes stacked up. Of course, you're going to be stressed. Look at there's a thousand dishes, and they all need to be washed and dried. Why would that cause you stress? Because you only do one dish at a time. Hi to all the viewers out there. I am giving away free ebook for the first 10,000 subscribers. Click the website below to get your free ebook. Please make sure to like this video and subscribe my channel. Thank you.